Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, uh, I'm going to address this issue. So if you ca as you can see here, when I look at the empty space without the moon, we can clearly see the uh, stars. But once the moon is in the scene, uh, the stars are faded out. I can't see the stars anymore if I want to see the stars I have to go to a place like this or oh, look at, at the empty space so now I can see the stars again so why does this happen well actually this is because of the auto exposure feature uh, in Unreal Engine uh, that means something like eye adaptation that we experience so when we look at brighter places uh, our eye get adapted and so we see only the brighter parts and the other things kind of fade out so like adjust in the eye so uh, like so to prevent this happening because it would look better if along with the moon if I can see the stars as well so so yeah first let me get the full full moon like this right and now to prevent that what i have to do is let's get a post process volume like this and i put that also in the atmosphere folder now i'll make this unbound or infinite extent so otherwise it will be applied only in the defined volume right now here we have this um, exposure options and under that uh, we have a couple of options we have main brightness and max brightness so yeah so let's let's see what are these options are. if I set it to manual um, no that's not going to work I'll set it to basic then right now I can see the moon plus the stars but the uh, moon is too bright so that's also not good okay so to deal with that maybe we should how to do it yeah well I can actually um I can actually change uh, the moon brightness in the material I have used for the moon this is the moon and this is the moon material and I have this shine parameter what if I set it to 1 oh that's better oh I can set it to 0.5 yeah now I can see the details of the moon as well all right and yeah so now you can properly see the stars plus moon but now let's see what happens if I make it daytime so it's 7 p.m. so I'll make it like 10 10 a.m. so now this doesn't look very good because it's kind of uh, we have lost the feeling that we had before so uh, if I make it to the previous settings now we get this too bright 
um, but with this settings if I make it to the night it will be oh, now it is working oh Ah, yeah, actually I did turn down the brightness of the moon. That should be the reason. Okay, so that... Okay, to test that, let me increase the brightness of the moon a little bit. Yeah, now as you can see, I don't see the stars anymore. And if I make it zero, sorry, if I make it... Mm -hmm. Point one, I can see the stars again. All right, so okay, so that's all I actually wanted to do in this episode. So now this looks very compared to the previous one we had, this looks better. Let's check the cycle again before stopping this episode now. And I'm not sure what that flickering may. How does that cause us? Okay, so I'll stop this episode at this point so yeah I hope you learned something about the auto exposure and if you are not uh, also by changing this max brightness or main brightness values you can see you can make some changes to the way this scene looks but I am going to keep them as default values because this uh, looks good enough for me as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my patron club. The link would be in the description below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.